Hey, On and Smokestack fans and Don from Facebook Marketplace. Uh, we are here today looking at a uh, an Onan DJA. Uh, what are we doing this uh, for? Well, today on uh, Facebook Marketplace, there was a DJA advertised and uh, there was some misleading information. Not blaming the poster of the, uh, of the ad, but apparently he's gotten bad information and uh, apparently uh, when you put it in the description and somebody uh, buys it and they expect what's not going to uh, really happen uh, could lead to a lot of dissatisfied uh, buyers. Anyway, uh, they had basically said that the uh, DJA will develop uh, 6.5 uh, kilowatts, uh, no problem. Could do 8 to 10 from what he was told, yada, yada, yada. What we normally do on the uh, on the Onan forum, uh, when we see ads like that, we try to educate the, uh, the, the sellers on what they really have. And sometimes, well, most of the time, the advertiser takes it uh, uh, in stride and makes the changes. However, today I got my ass handed to me. So uh, here we are. We got a DJA. This is basically what is being sold on the marketplace, uh, except the one that's being sold is on the trailer. But beside the point, it's all the same uh, in mint condition. And what we're going to do, we're going to try to uh, load this thing up past 3 kilowatts, okay? Again, these things are rated for 3 kilowatts. Let me back up a bit. Uh, the seller wasn't even sure that it was a DJA, but let, let, let's let's look at it this way. This is a diesel. He's selling a diesel, no doubt about it. When you got a single hump like this, especially with this uh, solenoid, okay, what it does, it engages the exhaust valve uh, when you shut the set off, and it'll kill the motor. This is only uh, specific for the DJA and the J series uh, owning line. So if you see this in one little hump like this, you got a DJA. Anyway, so what we're going to do is crank it up. We got our uh, diesel fuel ready. I got some measuring equipment right here. I don't have my uh, load on yet, which we're going to use some heaters. We'll be able to see the uh, the uh, energy being used, the draw, amp draw, watch, whatever, through this box once we got this thing running. Of course, we got our nice battery hooked up in the back. So let me get this thing uh, cranked up and uh, up to temperature. Then we'll start loading up and see what we could get, okay? Now, one thing I want to tell you, okay, we will get 3 kilowatts out of this, okay? It's designed for 3 kilowatts. I had this thing up to 3 kilowatts in the past. But if we could get this thing over 3 kilowatts, I don't know how much higher we're going to get. I do have uh, breakers on here that are uh, 25 amp breakers probably they'll snap about 30 we'll see all right when uh it starts blowing black smoke and everything else and you know uh the hertz drops well below 60 hertz which you'll see over here when we load it up uh we're pretty much at the max there's no way we're going to be able to push uh uh six or you know eight or ten kilowatts out of this regardless if i have breakers or not it just won't do that all right hang in there let me get this thing uh, cranked up and running Alright, we're back. Okay, so I got this thing running. It's running well. Alright, uh, what we did, we loaded one heater on it. That's that guy right there. We got on high. Okay, what do we have here? We got 1800 watts, which is fine. Voltage is good, 124 volts. And the hertz is perfectly acceptable. All right, we expected the 1800 watt heater to run no problem. All right, I got this other heater right here. Let me plug her in, make sure everything is off. All right. So let's kick on that guy right there. Give it a second or so to stabilize. is also good all right let's go up the next level all right so we got this thing on full blast right now we are at the maximum rated for this machine right here for this generator that's about three kilowatts at 118 volts 59.6 uh, hertz so perfectly acceptable for for uh three kilowatts it's struggling. I mean, it's going good, but it's struggling good. We're going to add another heater on and see what happens, okay? i got to run in and get it. I forgot to bring the third one out. Hopefully, it won't blow a breaker, but we'll find out, okay? Hang in there. All right, we got our third heater. I didn't turn it on yet, okay? This thing is still running about three kilowatts. 
as you saw before. I mean, it's struggling. I mean, it's holding good. It's struggling, but you're gonna let's see if we can see some of the little bit of smoke. Okay, that's expected. Okay, it's uh, up there now. I got this heater off. Let's uh, see what happens when I. Okay, we got 3,400 watts right there. 35, 3,500 watts. You can see the smoke. Let's go up higher. The hertz, are, the hertz is dropping, as you can see. Okay, voltage as well. I mean, that's not, you know, the best, but we're not getting more than 3,500. Let's go full blast. It's dying, okay? It's dying. Look at that smoke right there. Okay, we are not good. That's six. We really want it to be about 59, 60, 61, 62 hertz. Voltage, no good. Let's back her down. All right, we're in the accessible range now. We're, we're good. All right, so what did we just conclude? This DJA right here is going to run and run well at three kilowatts, a little bit above, no problem. But when we went to about 3,500 watts, 3.5 kilowatts, this thing started dying. So once again, with that ad on Facebook that claimed that this thing will run 6.5, or a DJA, the one at least he had, that will run 6.5 kilowatts, and was told that will run 8 to 10 by a previous owner, that is not right, okay? It's not going to happen. So uh, I just wanted to prove that. I'm not trying to put down the uh, seller on Facebook for uh, his uh, claim. But if somebody would have taken that seriously and bought his uh, DJA and expected to get 6.5 kilowatts, maybe 8 to 10 on a surge, it would not happen. And I can guarantee you this seller probably would have been pretty pissed. But anyway, here we are. This is a DJA. Mint condition, okay? Uh, we do have a thread on the uh, smokestack form when I was restoring this. The cylinders are like brand, the cylinder is like brand new. I mean everything, okay? This thing is performed to full spec, but you're not going to get 6.5 kilowatts out of it. Definitely not going to get 8 to 10. So anyway, it was a fun little experiment. It lived up to its uh, spec. It was good to get this thing exercised. Right now out here it's pretty cold. Uh, it's got to be around freezing or a little bit above. But uh, that's about it. All right. Hey, Smokestack fans, Johnny C. from New Jersey. Take care. Bye.